no me lo reconoce. Y antes siempre lo he tenido así. Hi, teacher. Okay. ¿Para qué no me escuchas? ¿Cómo no? ¿Y si te escucho? No, pues sí, pero no estoy hablando acá. <risa> okay. Sino que en, el, en la computadora. Hi, teacher. Ahí okay. queriendo resolver Hello. problemas técnicos. Yeah, don't worry. Ok, good uh, evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, really good. Nice. Ok, what nice. About what about you, Wilfredo? How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay. Very good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. What about you, Leticia? How are you today? Uh, fine. Uh, Very fine. <laughs> uh, eh, con unos cuantos problemas técnicos, pero okay, superables. Okay. okay, that's good. Don't worry. Es, es terrific. Uh, okay, very good. Terrific. Nice. Terrific. Okay, how are you, Flor? Fine, teacher. Okay, nice. Good evening. Really good. Sophie, how are you today? Very well, teacher. Hey, nice, good, amazing. Lillian, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Very, yeah. very well. I'm glad. How are you? Okay. Uh, Fabiola, how are you today? I'm fantastic, teacher. Ah, really good. That's a really nice, you know, answer. Tania, how are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, really good. And Fabricio, how are you today, Fabricio? Good night, teacher. Sure. I'm fine. Okay, that's good. Amazing. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, students, we're going to start with today's class because of the time. Remember that the time is goal. Eh, el tiempo es algo que tenemos que aprovecharlo. So, we're going to start right now. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, there we go, students. Okay. Okay, students, we're going to start with today's class with this. Let me see. Okay, did you remember that yesterday's class we were talking about past uh, tense, right? Past tense, how to talk about past event, yep. Yes? Sí, teacher, okay. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, students, and we were talking about, let me see, uh, regular and irregular verbs. Verbos regulares e irregulares. What's the difference? Los regulares, les íbamos a agregar. ED. Ok, ED, ED, very good. ED, and sometimes D, and so on, right? Y los verbos irregulares, what happened with them? Tenían una forma propia. Ok, tenían una forma propia, cambiaban totalmente o quedaban justamente con están en presente muchas veces okay very good okay we're gonna work together at the beginning of this class and what we are gonna do right now you have to you know to tell to the rest of the class the pronunciation of some verbs let's see okay okay try to pronounce these verbs in the past let's see students we got this want need and clean This is present, right? Están en presente. ¿Qué es lo que quiero? Que me lo digan en pasado. Veamos, ¿quién quiere intentar el primero? Number one. One it. One it. Very good. Nice. Want it. Want it. Really Worry. nice. What about this one? Need it. Need it. Need it. Very good. Need What it. This one? Cleaning. Okay. Clean. okay. Clean. Clean. Okay, okay. Clean. Uh, with T or D? Um, T. T. 
Sí, ok, ¿estás seguro? No, sure. <laughs> okay, all right. Good. Clean, uh, it's gonna sound with D, yeah, clean. 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 Yeah, yeah, that is. Very good. Nice. Good work. Okay, continue with this. This one. Yes. 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 Very good. Yes. Yeah, sure. Very good. Okay, Sophie. Nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay, what about this one? Fix. 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 Okay, again, again. Fix. Fix. Yeah, yeah, like this. Fix. 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 Okay, what about this one? Use. 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 With D or T? With D or T? D. 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 Okay, nice. Congratulations, students. Uh, as you see, uh, the pronunciation in the past tense is really easy. What you have to do is to memorize these verbs, right? Sumamente fácil, tenemos que memorizar. No hay otra forma. Si pudiésemos ponernos una USB, right? O pen driver, sería fácil. Pero uh, we have to memorize these verbs. Really good. Okay, continue with this. Basically, uh, we're gonna continue with module three, and we're gonna talk about irregular verbs. And the <coughs> topics will be? Simple past, yes or no question. Okay, very good. Basically, we're gonna talk about questions, right? Questions and how to answer, short answer, really good. Okay, students, let's see today's objectives. I don't know, somebody to help me to read the first one. Me, me okay. teacher. Yeah, okay, Stephanie, go ahead. Um, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs. Okay, really by nice. The, okay. okay, really nice, amazing, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, okay, Leticia, continue. Be the end of the class you will read how to ask and answer simple past yes or questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, really nice. Okay, students, uh, your pronunciation is really, really good. Amazing. Okay, basically, we're gonna continue about positive and negative statement, but in the past, using irregular verbs, los verbos que cambian totalmente o que se quedan igual. Let's see, and also we're gonna talk about questions, right? That's easy. Va a estar sumamente fácil, and we're gonna start with useful words, as we do all the time. We got it, this one. How do you say this one in English? Oh. Okay. Fun. Fun, really good. Okay, what does it mean? Alegre, divertido. Yeah, that's good, amazing, thank you. What about this one? Anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere, Anywhere. what does it mean? En ninguna parte o en algún lugar. Okay, en ninguno o en alguno? En alguna parte. Okay, yeah, yeah, en alguna parte o en algún sitio, really good. Nice, like this. Okay, very good, fun, and anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Okay, students, basically, uh, we're gonna, you know, make a feedback about yesterday's class. We have the voiceless and voiced, right? We talk about the regular verbs that end with ed or p. For example, word, word. word. what, what? Clean. 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 Stay. 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 Stay.
Ok, esto es básico, ya lo vimos, lo aprendimos. I don't know if you, if somebody have a question about this. Questions? No question. No question? No question. Ok, ok, very good. Ok, good, continue with this. Ok, students, I have a question for you. Casi nunca les hago preguntas, pero ahora eh, se me ha ocurrido. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ok, eh, when we talk about voiceless, eh, what does it mean this, voiceless? ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa? Silenciosas. Silenciosas, muy bien. En voice. Um, lo contrario. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 que sí tienen sonido. Ok, students. But, eh, ¿con qué lo vamos a, a diferenciar? Con el, el final de la pronunciación, uh, de la escritura. La vibración en la garganta. Okay. Yeah, okay. Pero no así. No, pero no, no, ¿qué? ¿Y cómo se divierte? Si tú dices, sí, es realmente bien. Ok, es voiceless, right Sí. Esta es la única que es sin sonido. No tiene a uh, vibration. Word. Word. Y, y esta sí. Clean. 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 Stay. Stay. Invite. Invite. a vibration. Ok, that's why it's voice. Voiceless, T. Solo la T es voiceless. Ok. Ok, very good, the students continue with this one. And we have this, ya lo vimos. Eh, but now we're going to talk about irregular verbs, right? Okay. okay, here we go. Basically, we got a formula here that's the same for each one of these sentences, right? Esta fórmula es básicamente la misma para todas las oraciones, solo que cambia aquí el tiempo. Past tense, subject, personal pronoun, yeah. verb, verb, plus verb in past tense, past tense, and plus, plus complement, complement, very good, okay, but now we're going to talk about the verb in the past tense, for example, we have do, do, the past is, do, very good, get up, get up, Got up. Got up. Got up. Got up. Got up. Really good. This one. Go. Went. Went. Okay. Went. Went. Nice. Meet. Met. Met. Okay. Really good. Met. What does it mean, meet? Conocer. Conocer. Ok, conocer, muy bien, really good. Encontrarse. Es encontrarse. Reunirse. 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 Este meet es importante porque significan esas tres cosas que ustedes han mencionado, right? Encontrarse. Conocer, encontrarse y reunirse. According to the complements, we are going to define the meaning of this verb, right? Ok, really good. Continue with this. Come. Um, the past? Cam. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah, came. 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 If you see, uh, we're going to um, do a uh, movimiento de labios así como la M. Mm. Game. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Eh, eso va a depender 
de la compensación que tenemos en la traducción. Ya, tell me. Ok. Hola. Ok, Lilian, ya. Yeah. Teacher, yo no escucho demasiada interferencia. Por ahí lo escribí, pero yo no estoy escuchando nada. Ok, ok. Don't worry. We're gonna... Uh, let me see. Ok. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ya, ya vimos el mensaje, Lilian. Don't worry. Vamos a apagar el micrófono, chicos, ahí. Y cuando vamos a opinar, you can, you know, turn on the microphone. Are you agree? Hoy oh, sí, teacher. Gracias. Ok, ok. Really good. Hoy sí, Lilian. No queda de otro, right? <laughs> ok. Very good. Ok, students. Continue with today's class. Let's see. We talk about irregular verbs. Los verbos irregulares cambian totalmente. As you see here, do, did, get up, got up, go, went, meet, met, come, came, have, had, and so on, right? Okay, really good. Uh, let's see something really important here, students. Okay. We have this. Okay, here we go. We got some sentences, right? in the past tense with uh, irregular verbs. Okay, uh, the first one, it is in the positive way, and the second one is negative. Okay, I don't know, somebody to help me to read it. The first one, raise your hand. Okay, Leticia, go ahead. I, I did my homework. Okay. I didn't do laundry. Okay, really good, thank you. Okay, students, uh, basically, in this case, uh, we have a positive and negative sentence, right? La positiva, solo ponemos did, pero en este caso es como verbo. Quiero que comprendamos eso. Eh, es, el, es el pasado de do, de hacer. Okay. Eh, <laughs> eh, okay. Y didn't, ya no actúa como verbo sino que actúa como un auxiliar en... Auxiliar. Una forma de la oración. Ya, yeah, de la oración en... Negativo. Yeah. Pasado. En pasado, pero negativo. Really good. Uh -huh. Pasado negativo. Nice. Uh -huh. yeah, nice. Ok, for example, I did my homework, I didn't do laundry, right? Yo... Hice... Mi tarea. Ok. Mi trabajo. Yeah, really good. Y esta, mi tarea, esta... No la ve la ropa. No la ve. Okay, no la ve la ropa, right? Eh, ok, esta oración me, ca me cae a mí, you know, perfect, right? That's happened to me today. <laughs> Pero porque rice. Yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why. <laughs> ok, thank you, Leticia. <laughs> ok, really good. Continue with this one. Ok, uh, ok, Fabiola. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, read this one. Mm. You go. You go up at noon. Very you good. didn't get up at ten o'clock. Okay. Very good. Thank you. In Spanish, Fabiola, what does it mean? Que se levantó. What is the meaning? No. Yeah. Is after uh, lunch. Late. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Really good, Fabiola. Okay, who wants to uh, try with this one? Okay. Okay, Sophie, go ahead, Sophie. You can do it. Okay. He went to the Muslim. Yeah. Um, he didn't go. To the library. Yeah, really good. Now in Spanish. Uh, él, él no fue al museo. Okay. Bueno. Él, él fue al museo. No. Went. Fue. 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 Yeah, yeah. Fue. Really good. Really good. Nice. Uh -huh. uh, él no, no fue a la librería. No fue a la librería. Okay, biblioteca, biblioteca. Oh, okay. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Sophie. Okay, students, as you see here, uh, we got a 
a really nice example. We got went and go. Básicamente, go y went es lo mismo, solo que go es en presente y went en pasado. Como estamos hablando del past tense, en esta oración de primero, eh, es positive, right? Él fue, he went, donde sea que ustedes quieran agregarle que fue. Eh, el, yeah. Teacher, o sea que, que en la oración positiva es en la única que el verbo cambia, o sea que el verbo cambia, en la negativa no cambia. No cambia. Y cuando hacemos una pregunta, tampoco cambia porque ponemos ir. Ah, o sea que ahí igual eh, funciona como auxiliar el did. Ya, yeah, como auxiliar en este caso. Por ejemplo, aquí como auxiliar negativo. He didn't go. Él no fue. Y didn't nos está diciendo que es... Negativo, pasado. Negativo y pasado. Very good. Mm. Okay. okay, it's clear? Yes, yes, it's, it's yeah, clear. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, continue with this one. Who wants to try this one? Don't be shy, go ahead, you can do it. Ah, okay, Fabricio. <laughs> okay, Fabricio. Fabricio. Okay, Fabricio. Okay. We meet our classmates. Yeah. We didn't meet our teacher. Okay, thank you. Now in Spanish, please. Uh, <laughs> okay. Meet. Son nuestros, son nuestros compañeros de clase. Okay. Nosotros conocimos a nuestros compañeros. Yeah, very good. En Conocido. este caso. Era como, perdón, dijo, vimos, ok. Son okay. nuestros compañeros, son no. nuestros compañeros de clase. Ok, conocimos, conocimos. Conocimos. Ok, ok, muy bien. Ok. Entonces, no conocimos a nuestros maestros. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Fabricio. Really nice. Ok. Ok, thank you. Continue with this one. Who wants to try? Raise your hand. Go ahead. You can do it. Me, teacher. Me. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie. You come home later. Ok. Came. 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 Yeah, in the past. Came. You came home later. Okay, they are in trouble, right? <laughs> okay, they're gonna have problems. You see uh, the father here? He is a Tú tarde a la casa. Yeah, ¿cómo está el papá? ¿Está happy? Uh, he is, he's angry, right? <laughs> yeah, he's angry. Yeah. He's angry, really good. Okay, and they look uh, happy or like, you know, ¿Cómo se ven? Se ven un poco sorprendidos aquí. Ok, that's good. <laughs> ok, very nice. You came home late. Continue, Stephanie. You didn't came home early. Ok, come. Tú temprano a casa. Ok, muy bien. Ok, Stephanie, come. Came. Come. Came. Okay. Um, sí, porque ahí está igual, se en presente. Yeah, yeah, really good. Ok. okay. Yeah. Okay, really good. Okay, entonces aquí eh, ellos, estamos hablando de ellos que vinieron tarde a la casa. Ok, muy bien. Ustedes, quizás el papá les dijo, ustedes vinieron tarde a la casa. Eh, ok, y acá es que... Llegaron temprano, no llegaron temprano a la casa. Que no llegaron temprano. En ambas formas el papá siempre se los... Me dio ahí en la neck, right? <laughs> okay, really good. Okay, continue with the last one. Okay, Wilfredo, go ahead. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay, in Spanish. Es que tuvieron un picnic. Yep. Un, uh, ¿sí? Picnic. Yeah, picnic. Es como a picnic, right? <laughs> <laughs> picnic is picnic. Yeah. Es que no tuvieron una fiesta. Tuvieron una fiesta, really good. Okay, thank you. Okay, students, as you see, all of these examples express a past tense, right? One in positive way and the other one in the negative way, 
right? <laughs> What's happened in the negative way? You just add didn't or did not. Yep. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, students, uh, I don't know if you have a questions. Questions about this? No? No. Okay, very good. Continue with this. Okay, students, now we're gonna practice because practice is key, right? Okay, let's see. Um, we're gonna try to figure it out the past tense of these verbs. Okay, let's try together. Get up. What is the past tense? Got up. Got up. Yeah. Yeah. Get up. Get up. Okay. Really what about this one? Go. When, go. When, when. go. Okay, go. Went. Right? Went. Yeah. What about this one? Want. Wanted. 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 The past tense? Wanted. Thank Wanted. You. Wanted. Okay, Running. this one. Kissed. 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 Okay. Kissed. 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 We have to put into practice our knowledge, right? And we have to make one sentence for each one of these verbs. Vamos a hacer una oración por cada uno de estos verbos in the past tense. You are allowed to use the, uh, the expression that express something in the past. For example, yesterday, the day before yesterday, last week, last year, and so on. Pueden usar esas expresiones también. In the past. For example, need, needed, right? That, that's my sentence. I needed a newspaper yesterday, right? This is one question. You have to do one question for each one of these verbs. Una oración por cada uno de estos verbs. Take notes. You're going to have one minute and then you have to share each other. Tienen un minuto, luego vamos a intercambiarlas y a decirlas, right? Teachers yep. son afirmativas. Ah, you are allowed to do it positive and negative. Pueden hacerlo positiva, negativa, whatever you want, right? Okay, very good. One minute. Les quedan 40 segundos. Okay, ahead. Okay, get up, go, one, kiss, have, come. Got up, went, wanted, kissed, had, came. Okay, very good. Ready? Are you ready, students? Okay, I think so. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, here we go, students. Okay, let's practice. Let's put into practice our previous knowledge. Okay. okay. Okay, here we go, students. Okay, practice each other, share your information with your classmates. Go ahead, you can do it and don't be shy, please.
Okay, Leticia and Stephanie, are you ready? Hello, Leticia. No se escucha. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Uy, sí. Hi, Leticia. Sí, ya. Sí, sí. Yes. ¿Quién empieza? ¿Usted o yo? Tú empieza. Tú empieza. You. Ok. Voy a decir dos y luego tú dos. O decimos todas de un solo. Dos. Yeah, dos. Yeah. Ok. La primera. I went to work yesterday. Y la segunda. We didn't. We didn't go to the beach yesterday in the night. Okay. My turn. I going have a picnic for my mother. He, I kissed my little one this morning. Okay. Voy con mis otras dos. Dale, continue. Very okay. Good friends, continue practice. I'll be back. Okay. I kissed uh, my dog yesterday in the afternoon. And. Did you know what I mean? Ensalada en la mañana, ¿no? Ensalada en la mañana. No, mamá. No. Te la voy a cambiar. I got you. Hey, Stephanie, yeah. you, you, you want to uh, eat salad in the, in the morning. Uh, okay. I, I wanted a cupcake. Uh, no, uh, um, ¿cómo se llama? Pancake. Uh -huh. In the morning. <laughs> no, sorry. I wanted an ice cream. In the morning. That's an amazing work. Okay. 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 Hi, teacher. How are you? Aquí, rompiendo la cabeza. Este, <laughs> teacher, ¿para cuándo termina el curso? Okay, uh, the, this course is going to finish uh, next week. Next week. Yeah. El jueves. Yeah. El jueves, yeah. Okay. Eh, recuerden, eh, al final de la clase vamos a mencionar algo de eso porque tienen que terminar el midterm exam and the final test before Thursday. Antes del jueves. ¿Verdad? Ok, ok. Esa es la duda que tenía. Okay, no, y como no. que lo escuché ayer que decir que para el lunes era, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, tiene que ser para el lunes, pero tienen la semana para hacerlo, pero es mejor antes. Because, uh, ah, sí. recuérdense que ahí están haciendo evaluados. Y la nota que ustedes saquen ahí, pues, es ponderada. Y, eh, eh, with that grade, you can continue with the next level. Yep. Ok, very good. Ok, uh, ¿ya practicaron? Sí, yes, sí. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, continue practice. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. And thanks. Okay. Okay. Ah, por eso, sí, por eso decía que el día había dicho que el lunes. La mañana. ¿Y cuál sería temprano entonces? Eh? I didn't get up at morning. Eh. Ah, entonces sería, I didn't get up early this morning. Uh, 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 early, I 
Early. 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 I didn't get up early. Early this morning. Early this morning. Okay. Perfect. Y los que ya tenemos. He sí. came. He came of Canada last weekend. Mm -hmm. came, came, he came of Canada last week. Okay. ¿Y el otro que hiciste? Uh, I kissed to my father yesterday. Yeah. He didn't come to the party. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister came to my house. Yeah, my sister. Did. My sister came. My sister came to my house. My sister came to my. Oh, okay. Okay, really good. The students continue practice. That's amazing. Okay. What were the others? Because I didn't write them. It says meet. It says you didn't meet your friends, but it wasn't in the verbs. It was six verbs. Get up. Go. One. I had, for example, my sentence is I had a quiz yesterday afternoon. Okay. Um, la tuya podría ser como I had a. Um, notebook. Um, Yo tuve a notebook. Eh, no. Es que no una cosa, sino. Yo tuve. Y yo tuve que estudiar inglés. No, mucho. Yo tuve que estudiar mucho, puede ser también. I had a study. Uh -huh. I had... Sí, se puede ver. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you can do it. English. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, yeah, like this. Okay. Great. Teacher. Yeah. Así fue. Ahí está. Get up es obtener. Ok, get up is like this, eh, Flor. Imagine that I am sleeping, you know, like this, and then I get up. But the action, yeah, eh, levantarse. Ah, okay. Levantarse. Yeah. Wake up ah, okay. is your eyes. Pero es continuo. Uh -huh. Y get up okay. ya es que despertó, pero se levantó. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, okay. You're welcome. Okay, ladies, continue practice. We're going to have one minute more. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. Uh, Flor? Sí, hola. Tu oración? Okay, really good, ladies. Se abrieron mucho. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. That's amazing. Okay, students. Let me see. We're gonna wait for floor. Okay, very nice. Okay, students. Uh, as you see, um, to talk about past event is simple. What you have to know is the verb in the past, right? And also, uh, you have to know past expression, for example, yesterday, yesterday morning, last week, last year, uh, and so on, right? Okay, very good. I don't know if you have a questions about this. Questions? 
No. No. Yeah. No teacher. Okay. No teacher. Everything is clear like a Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ay, no, una vez, teacher, me pasó yeah. un, un inconveniente cuando quise decir. Eh, no, yo no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero coca o, o soda, veamos. Por okay. y, y lo dije, o sea, no sabía la pronunciación, la verdad. Y yo solo vi que todos se pusieron a reír y se me acaban viendo con carita rara. Pero hasta tiempo okay. después, bueno, me puse a averiguar y fui que me di cuenta, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia en realidad. Ok, ok, es que... O falta. Ok. A soda. Sí, a soda. Soda. Le dice uh, esa palabra. Eh, uh -huh. Nosotros somos formales, right? Así que uh -huh. vamos a entender que es una bebida. Pero uh -huh. eh, es una palabra que también hace referencia a otra cosa. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Eh, por eso yo can say soda. Coca-Cola, yeah, like this. Fanta, and so on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Exactly, teacher. Okay, very good. Stephanie, you got it, right? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, students, continue practice. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, let's see this. Okay, we talk about this verb in the past already, but right now we're gonna practice um conversation, right? Because we need to understand past conversation. Okay, we're gonna start with this conversation that we're gonna call it, did you like it? Did you like it? What does it mean for you? Did you Te gustó. Te gustó. Eh, tal vez la, la, la Coca-Cola, right? O I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Fanta and so on. Very good. Okay, now, students, I'm going to practice this conversation. Who wants to try it? Me, teacher. Okay, Flor and Leticia. Leticia, okay. Uh, Flor, you will be Laura and Leticia, uh, Erika. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister went to Arizona. We have the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? Hiking, hiking there? there? Yeah. No, we didn't actually. <laughs> we rode the we rode rode horse. We horses. We rode horses, and we also when went were rifting off the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, really nice. Very good, student. Okay, congratulations. You did it good. How's it for By the meaning of hiking. Hiking. Uh, uh, hiking. hiking. Okay. Let's see. Is this a sport? Um, uh. right. Este deporte es como... ¿Cómo le llamaríamos? Un veo hizo, no rápido te. Ya, ya. Like this, right? Okay, very good. Okay, uh, somebody uh, who help me to. Okay, Stephanie, Stephanie, very good. And Sophie. Yep. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, Stephanie, it will be Laura and Sophie, Erika. Go ahead. Okay, so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw uh, the Grand Canyon. 
Really? Did you like? Uh, oh, yes. We all eat. Uh, okay. Este... Okay. <risa> Laura, <¿Qué es> eso? <risa> did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Actually, eh, we rode horses, and we all went right. weren't riding. On, on the Colorado right, River. River, yes. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. <laughs> okay, really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. <laughs> now we're gonna translate because we need to understand what we uh, read, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, somebody start with this one. Translate it into Spanish. Entonces, okay. entonces, fuiste, fuiste a algún, fuiste lugar, a algún el lado el, el verano pasado. Okay, okay, muy bien. Suena como la de Scary Movie, right? <laughs> okay, that's good. Continue. Sí, lo hice, sí, o lo si, hice. Uh -huh. sí. o si fui, ajá. Sí, mi hermana y yo. Yep. Mi hermana y yo fuimos a Arizona. Arizona. Nosotras vimos el Gran Cañón. Ay, sí. Fuiste, ¿De verdad te gustó? ¿En serio? ¿Ya disfrutas? Nos encantó. Sí. ¿Les gustó? Oh, sí, lo amamos. Nos encantó. Nos encantó. Nos encantó, really good. Fuiste de excursión ahí. Ok. No, nosotros no, 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 White water rafting, right? That does. Uh, en agua brava en el río. Yeah, really good. What about this one? Wow. Te divertiste. Wow, te divertiste. Yeah. Algo así. Yeah, sí. Yeah. Sí lo hice. Fue un. Bueno, tuvimos un buen tiempo. Un gran. Okay, como pasa. Gran momento. Okay, students, uh, because of the time, we're going to run quickly. Eh, vamos a pasar de esto. Eh, necesito mostrarles esto sumamente fácil. Okay, eh, you're going to have to be able to... Okay, you're, you're going to have to be able to understand uh, simple questions with uh, yes, no answer. For example, what you're gonna do here, as you did with negative wave, como hicieron en la forma negativa, solo agregamos did, but in this case, we're gonna add did at the beginning, right? Before the uh, personal pronouns of the subject. For example, in this case, uh, did you have a good summer? ¿Qué quiere decir? Tuviste un buen... Buen verano. Ok, ok, muy bien. Como si tuviste un buen verano. Muy bien. Ok, veamos esta sentence, right? Eh, like this. Sin este did y sin este question mark, eh, acá diríamos una expresión positiva. You had a good summer. Algo afirmativo, bien. positivo. Muy bien, esa es una oración. Y para formular la pregunta, solo ponemos... El auxiliar. El auxiliar did, que nos va a decir que es pasado y el verbo pasa a... Normal. Presente. Verbo, uh -huh. verbo normal en presente y eh, question mark. Question. Como hacíamos con el do. 
¿Sí? ¿Esto es fácil? ¿Se comprende? Yes. Me doy a entender yes. que a veces no me entiendo, right? Ni yo soy. Okay, that's good. I'm just kidding. Ok. Eh, short answer. Si le pregunta con did, va a responder con... Did. 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 Yes, I did. Negativo, didn't. Yes, I did. did. No. No, I didn't. I didn't. No. Ok, very good. Y así sucesivamente. La fórmula es simple. We got the formula here. And we're going to have did at the beginning plus subject. Plus verb. Plus verb in the present. Plus complement. Plus complement. Complement. Plus question. Sing. Mark. El sing no sing. Question mark. Question mark. Very good. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Okay, very good. That's easy, right? And the answer, short answer, yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, no I didn't. Did. Oh, I did not. Recuerden, si le pregunta con did y usted no se quiere comunicar, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh, it happened the same with do, uh, with the simple present tense. Okay, very good. Okay, students, let's see. Uh, we have five minutes. And let me see. What I want you to show you right now is the platform, right? Let me check. We're going to have the platform. Yes. Okay. Eh, necesito que nos concentremos en this one. Okay. Give me a minute. Uh, like this. Yeah. There. Okay. We're going to have the knowledge check. Les ayude aquí con number one. <laughs> okay. And what you're gonna do here is to uh, scramble the question, right? Tienen que rearmar estas eh, questions that you're gonna find here. ¿Qué van a hacer acá? Están desordenadas. Ajá. Ya. Y vamos a ordenar. Vamos a ordenarla. ¿Con qué eh, comienza? ¿Con qué comenzaría? Did you? Con did, did, did or auxiliar. Did. 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 Then did you ever get the television last night? Last night. Last night. Last night. Last night. Last night. Really easy, right? Y luego acá le va a aparecer eh, en verdecito, que se siente muy bien uno cuando sale así. <laughs> ok. And so, okay. Y así sucesivamente. No como las hago yo, sino eh, que salga en verdecito. Ok, muy bien. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Ok. <laughs> Yo las hice, pero la segunda daba problemas, pero okay. después, después se corrigió, ya la, ya me salió bien. Ya la hice esa yo. Ok, muy bien. Eh, eso es muy bueno, eh, Sophie. Eh, me alegra escuchar eso. Recuérdense que muchas veces you have to use capital letter. Si no se las agarra en minúscula, pongan todas en mayúscula. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? El apóstrofe no es el mismo, eh, ¿cómo se llama en español? El, el Acento. El acento, muy bien, sino que es apóstol. Right? Hay una diferencia. Okay. Sí, porque yo lo hice eh. igual y tuve que poner el did not, así para que me lo pongan. Muy bien. Eh, otra cosa, muy bien, Fabiola, did not, right? No, eh, sin. You cannot use the contraction form. En ¿Qué? este caso, mejor no usemos el, la forma contractada, sino que el normal. Ok, really good. And also students, eh, somebody que no ha terminado the midterm exam. Todos lo terminaron, everybody finished? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, congratulations. Okay, students, uh, now we are in section four. You have to finish all of this like this, right? Como esto. A uh, knowledge check is really important to you because in this case, uh, you're gonna get good grades. Van a obtener sus buenas notas, esos dieces, and so on, right? Así que háganlos. Eh, cuando encontremos este, uh, este video en cada uno de los temas, basically, uh, the video is what I explained during the class, right? El video es el que explico durante la clase. Yep. 
Yeah. Así que, eh, if you want, you can add a comment, you can add an audio, whatever you want. But the most important point is knowledge check, right? Midterm exam, and for the next week, you have to finish the final exam. You can do it on Sunday, on weekend, or during the next week. Pero tienen que terminarlo antes del Thursday. Porque eh, así ya tienen la nota. Y you pass to the next level, right? Yep. Ok, very good. La próxima semana right. tenemos que terminarlo. Yeah, next week. Recuérdense que next week we're going to finish this module, right? Vamos a terminar este módulo. Y yo, me, yo pensaba que era este fin que teníamos que terminar y yo le di con todo, pero bueno. Pensé que era esta semana. Pensé que era esta semana. Pero me falta, claro, pero es poco. Okay, muy bien. Es por eso que vemos esa sonrisa en Sofía. <risa> oh, siempre. <risa> Está libre de estrés. <risa> <laughs> okay, students, uh, if you have a question about this, you can ask me through WhatsApp. I'm going to help you, right? And I don't know if you have a question so far. Question about the class? No question. Yo solo preguntarle algo. En yeah, yeah. alguna que, que boca, ¿cómo es? Bocaro.com parece que es, ¿verdad? Si uh -huh. yo, no lo, yo no hago el, 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 el grabo la eh, la cuestión esta puedo mm -hmm. hacer un, unas oraciones y subirlas ahí esa creo yeah. solamente esa se me quedó porque no no hice lo de él mm -hmm. yeah you can do it don't worry okay. okay okay you're welcome okay students if you don't have any questions that's it for today class yeah yeah tell me eh, cada vez que hacemos alguna evaluación o pasamos bueno en los videos siempre sale como una discusión abajo verdad yeah ¿Es obligatorio hacerlo? Uh, yes. 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 Yo no las he hecho. Yo no las he hecho. No he hecho. Okay. Eh, realmente, chicos, eh, no es obligación, pero si ustedes quieren hacerlo, es muy buena práctica. It's really good for you. Eh, knowledge check is the most important and meter exam and the final test, right? Yep. Yes. Son esas cosas las que son eh, ponderadas. Pero uh, the discussion part, you can do it in order to practice your uh, knowledge during the class. Okay. okay. More okay. questions? Okay. No. Okay, that's it. Okay, students, unfortunately, time is over. Eh, me gustaría seguir aquí, you know, teaching English. But we don't have enough time and you have to go to bed. Así que have a wonderful <laughs> night. Bye bye and see you bye. next week. Bye. 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 Bye.